So you know those kind of eerie space sounds you hear in space movies and in uh, oftentimes in horror movies as well. Well, they're actually pretty easy to create these days. Fortunately, there's this amazing sound designer goes by the name of H.G. Fortune. He's unfortunately now passed on, but uh, before he passed away, he released a treasure trove of amazing synthesizers, and we're going to use one of them. Uh, we're at uh, hgf-synthesizer.com. And I'm going to go a little ways down the page here to this guy, Escapes Wizard. This is what you call a VST instrument plugin. It's uh, for use with any VST capable host. Fortunately, we've got another piece of free software we're going to use as well. This one's called Savvy Host. This will allow us to run this Scapes Wizard without needing a full fledged host. So let's go ahead and get to the download section for Scapes Wizard real quick first. And we'll go to the download page here. This is now hosted over at archive.org, as you'll see, and we'll just go a little ways down the page and we should see on this right hand side, the download options. I'm going to go ahead and select the zip option here and we'll just search down this list for Scapes Wizard and I'm just going to click on that to download. That's a 75 megabyte file. It's a bit larger than a lot of the other files here. And uh, you see, you'll see here it's actually downloaded pretty quickly, so it should be done pretty fast. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're going to use this program, Savvy Host, right here, another great piece of free software. And uh, we're going to go down to down the page here and look for the downloads. That's right here. In this particular case, uh, Scapes Wizard is a 32-bit plugin. So what we're going to need in this case is a 32-bit uh, version of Savvy Host. So that's this very first item on the list here. So we'll just go ahead and download that. Mind you, I'll leave uh, direct links to these things so you'll have an easier time finding them. And uh, Savvy Host is already downloaded. We're just waiting for Escapes Wizard to complete downloading. And uh, that's just about done here. So let's see, once those are downloaded, let's just go ahead and open up the download folder, show in folder. And I'm going to drag these onto my desktop here because what I'm going to do is place them both in the same folder here. In fact, I don't think I even need this web browser anymore. And I'm going to play, I'm going to extract this right here on my desktop. And once that's extracted, I'm just going to extract Savvy Host right into that as well. This is that folder that that just did ex extracted to. So let me go ahead and drag and extract this in here directly as well. Cool. So that's basically it. Got all of the files that I downloaded right in this one folder. And at this point, what I'm going to do is just make this a little bit simpler for the future. I'm going to select the name for this this uh, escapes wizard here. Or if you can go ahead and press the uh, right click and uh, select rename, then you'll get to this as well. But you can just go ahead and copy. I'm going to copy the name and I'm going to rename this savvy host program right after that same uh, DLL uh, file. I just uh, I just copied the name for. And at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this to run it. The reason I renamed it that is because now this Savvy Host program is basically uh, it knows to connect itself with this DLL right here. So anytime I double click it, it's automatically running that VSTI or VSTI DLL program right here. So that's basically what we're seeing right here that this is the Savvy Host program. And it's already loaded Scapes Wizard, that Scapes Wizard plugin, right into this interface, this nice sleek interface that we can now use for our purposes. And this is basically it. Uh, this is Scapes Wizard. Uh, this, is, this amazing little plugin will generate semi randomized space textures. Or actually, it's not just space textures, but that's what we'll use it for in this case. And to basically get started, you can actually hear a little bit of the sound right now. But to really get started, I'm just going to go ahead and press this play button. But actually, real quickly, I just want to walk through this feature. This is the record button. I'm going to go ahead and press the record button and you can see it's actually recording right now. So if I actually hit this play button. OK, 
Okay, that's enough of that for just right now. I'm going to go ahead and press the stop button right here and you will it's going to ask me, do you want to save the recording? I'll just press yes. And let's go ahead and name this space. And this should place it right on my desktop. There we go. Let me just go ahead and remove these two downloaded zip files. And this is that space file that I just recorded from here. So let me just go ahead and play this real quick. So we'll play it through AIMP here on my machine. There we go. Took a little while. That's basically it. The uh, the record button when you hit, when you press it, it'll start from recording from the moment that you press it. So basically, what you can do is with this, you can set it to record, press the play button, and record for as much time as you need. This thing will actually just loop through a ton of procedurally generated sequences and basically spit out as much time as you want of space textures. And uh, just to give you a little bit more background on this, uh, this button right here, Wave Pool, that actually shows the pool of sounds that this particular preset is uh, pulling from. And so the program will actually just uh, kind of go in order through all of these particular presets, as well as a separate ordering for this other oscillator that kind of produces a lot of the um, snare and the stronger hits that you'll hear. And uh, you could actually mute out a lot of these sounds, so you can actually tweak these parameters to get them sounding exactly how you want to. And you can also go through this list of presets. Here's the select programs option right here. You can actually click that, and you'll get all of these different um, preset programs that uh, this thing will actually then go through. For example, if I go ahead and uh, press, let's uh, try Goblin Cathedral, you see all of these items from the wave pool section have changed. And if we press play now, It sounds a bit different than it did before. It just goes through a different set of presets. Or a different set of sequences, I should say. You can also play the keyboard down here. For example, we can start up some sounds like this. So basically by playing around with this, you can get exactly the type of space textures you want. And totally for free, you can record hours and hours and hours of space textures. And that's what I will be doing with one of the textures I'll be recording soon. And posting up to YouTube as an example for this. But that being said, I hope you find that helpful. Have a great day.